a digital law firm, right? Um, people's imagination right now is being ruled by other people. Uh, we are actively participating in the imagination of the person who invented StreamYard. They imagined we would be here, right? And so mm. you got to start living your own imagination. And I think mm. that you really do got to get off the internet, right? Like you got to get it off the screen. You have to know almost what the future holds, but what, what they wrote down before. Um, so they kind of yeah. make their own future and they sync it up. They, they, yeah. they imagine the future b beforehand and then they act it out. And I do believe in this uh, mental process of imagining things beforehand and then acting them out later. Um, it's, maybe it's one thing when it's just you having your flow state, but then if you have like 10 other people oh. in the same place and you're having that same kind of flow now, is this like a flow that's even rarer to find and to sync up into this yes, idea of loops? And you said like they're they're stuck in a loop, and then my brain is like, um, the digital off ramp idea that I'm working on, and how can you take people off that loop? How you know if it's just this roundabout? It's like all right, you have to take an off ramp, you have to get off this in a way, you have to be in your physical body, you have to um, be with your body in space with other people having those experiences, and on top of it you have to start to implement more play. You know, the, the lack of play is like a big crisis that we're experiencing where no one knows how to even have this kind of relational um, experience with another person. So I'm thinking that, and, and, and that will then boost their imagination. There's more time to be confident in their imagination and to build more of a, a structure um, scaffolding framework to then have this space to then push back it because it feels like it's like this blob that uh, is trying to consume us with all this AI and all of this um, digital stuff.